So today I'm going to be talking about rejection and so we'll be talking about how to get over rejections, what to do to better yourself to for when you do get rejected and what um and how to have what's the outlook you should have for rejections. And so let's get to it. So why is uh so I've been rejected from a certain program called the Nuffield program and I was quite disappointed because it was something I really wanted to do. But that doesn't necessarily and I was quite disheartened by it. But this is sort of a video for even myself because I know how I become when I get see a rejection. It's like it it's quite heartbreaking, like even from rejection from anybody. Like let's say someone wanted to go Oxford really badly then and then they got rejected that's terrible. Like for me, if I got rejected from UCL, I would feel literally gutted, like seriously gutted. But we would have, you have to work around things to prevent yourself from feeling that sort of fear and like getting so depressed over rejections and m making yourself worse about it. The first thing I think to do is to prevent yourself from having these feelings of rejection is always have a backup plan. Backup plans are really good for whatever um, things you want, programs you want to get in. Always have a backup plan where even if you didn't get to this one, you can get into the other one. So like for universities, don't go for like the best universities and get rejected from all of them. Like that's that's just ridiculous. Or like have a you know like because things with like university, you need to go to to get a decent job. Not necessarily you can, you don't have to go to university, but you need to do some sort of further uh, education to better yourself so you have a better job prospect. You know, you can go through um, apprenticeships and other schemes uh, which are as viable. Also, when you are rejected, what's the best thing to do? Firstly, take a step back and say, all right, now I've been rejected. What can I do? What are my options? You have to lay up whatever options you have left and see what you can do. It tends to be that when you are rejected from a program, it's kind of too late to apply for any other programs. But if you look at all the options available to you, just look at it and pick another option and see what happens if you go down that route. If you don't really know what options are available, then use the internet to find out what, where to uh, for alternatives um, for the things you got rejected to. Let's say you got rejected by all the universities or you got rejected from a certain job, then look for another one. You know, there are always ways to go about overcoming rejection. Um, there are like certain things wh which if you get rejected you won't ever be able to do it again, maybe. but. Even in those cases, you have to be able to stand up to it and uh, look over it and just uh, go ahead to it. Whoa, that wind. Oh, my God. That was a big wind. Uh, anyways, you have to keep keep trying. That's the thing. You have to keep trying and trying and trying to so until whatever you got rejected from, you get some sort of acceptance. What else can I say on rejection? Also... Don't be afraid of rejection. That's another thing. Rejections aren't a bad thing. If you are always getting accepted to something, then you're never really going to better yourself to do anything. You'll be always like, oh, I'm going to get accepted to everywhere. You're never going to try out new things so you are a better applicant than anyone else. So rejections in that respect is a very good thing because it helps people to be competitive and always be on top of their game so when they are... Uh, out there, in, like in jobs and universities, in schools, whatever, or competitions, you are up there and you are um, able to go above them. If you're rejected once, then you try again until you get that place, right? Even if, if it doesn't work after a certain amount of time and you've improved yourself, then it's, then you have to think about okay, it's not really a plausible option. I should stop now. Like there should be a limit where you should stop because sometimes people get rejected and they go again and they get rejected and rejected. That's not a good thing. It you're just gonna go mad for getting rejected over and over and over and over again, right? There's there should be a, the, you should have yourself a limit. Like let's say you try to go to this program and it's gone four or five times and you keep on getting rejected, then let's stop now. 
Like you should use your energy and try to focus somewhere else where you have a better chance of getting in. So this is my sort of talk uh, on rejection and what I feel about it after how I felt. And I hope this helps me in the future if I ever watch this video again and helps you guys out whoever, wherever, whenever and wherever you felt rejection or of any sort of any kind in terms of getting into places and things like that. So that's all from me today, random help over now and I'll see you next time.